As every new model of DJI drone is released, one thing now remains in common to them all, and that is this, USB-C charging, and of course the lack of mains charger supplied with each model. New DJI Air 3 is no exception to this, so today I thought I'd do a quick video on what to look out for when you're getting yourself all powered up, and what are the different options available to you. Hello, I'm Ian and I play with drones. Yep, quick video today on the plethora of charging options available now to charge up pretty much any model drone, including the new Air 3, the Mini 3 series, and the old Mavic 3 series as well, as they all get charged up by this, a USB-C cable. But as I've been mentioned before, your typical phone charger is probably not gonna be up to the challenge of charging your drone up quickly. As you can see though, over the years, I've picked up a fair few different ways to charge on the go. In truth, most of these were not bought with the intention of specifically charging a drone, but when I'm choosing one, I do make sure it can also do that fundamental job for me because there is one thing that all of these chargers have got in common, and that's something called USB-C power delivery. And this is what's important when you're choosing a charger or a power bank to keep yourself charged up during the day. USB-C power delivery is a universal standard for charging laptops, phones, and of course, drones as well. And the beauty of it is that you just need to check the watts required to charge your device and the maximum wattage that your charger can supply. If the charger doesn't have enough power, it will simply take longer to charge the device up. But crucially, if the charger has got a much higher power rating, it can still be used to charge up less power hungry devices because the device will only take what it needs without any damage to the device or the charger. It really is foolproof. So that's why I always go big because I always know it'll do the job nicely for me. So first off, what do you actually need? Well, DJI Mini 2 and the Mini 3 series drones, they charge best with a charger supplying at least 30 watts. Uh, that's pretty easy, and to be honest, you will be fine with some phone chargers. My Samsung uh, 22 Ultra charger can charge up my Mini 3. The Air 3 and the Mavic 3 series, though, they have bigger batteries and they will need more power. They charge at either 65 or 100 watts uh, USB power delivery. So you will need a beefier charger in order to charge your Air 3 or your Mavic 3. So I will go through some of the options now that uh, will actually uh, get these beasts charged up. And first off, this. This little thing is my home charger. This is what I keep plugged into the wall at home. It is simply the Anker 715 wall charger. It's just got a single USB-C PD socket putting out 65 watts of power with automatic fast charging. And you can see how the Mini 3 Pro's lights are speeding along when plugged into this charger. So the Mini 3 Pro will get charged up in around an hour using this little wall charger. But 65 watts is not 100 watts. And so it'll be a little bit slower for the Air 3 and the Mavic 3 batteries. They will take around 80 minutes to charge up, which to be honest is still fine in my books. But when you're out in the field, you need portable power. And yes, there are many power banks out there that now offer USB-C power delivery charging. But for the last few years, this, this has been the single most useful uh, power bank that I have taken out with me. It's the OmniCharge 20 Plus. Um, absolutely brilliant little bit of kit, USB-A, uh, USB-C. Uh, it's even got a little mains power for smaller things like clippers. The USB-C PD rating for this is uh, 60 watts, so it'll easily fast charge the Mini 3 Pro, and it'll recharge it a good two or three times. I do take it everywhere. It is a fantastic power bank. Now, it has a bigger brother. This is the OmniCharge Ultimate, a brilliant, chunkier, beefier beast that has also got all the main features for charging on the go. Again, it has got two high power, 22 watt USB-A, port and it now has a very chunky 100 watt USB-C port and that is the huge difference as it now means that the uh, OmniCharge Ultimate has got enough power to fast charge your Air 3 and your Mavic 3 batteries which I think is a pretty impressive feat for a power bank of this size. It also has a higher power mains output, which I still think is amazing to get on these types of power banks. And once you plug in the little output adapter, you'll get 230 volts on the European model or 120 volts on the US model, and it can deliver up to 120 watts, which is more than enough for giving Ted a little haircut on the beach. But what this mains outlet also lets you do is plug in a non-USB mains charger, like the older DJI Air 2S. That can't be charged by USB-C. Uh, it's not the most efficient way, but it does get the job done. 
This is a chunky little beast, 142 watt hours of stored capacity. That's twice the capacity of the smaller OmniCharger 20 plus. Um, you're gonna get around two full charges of your Mavic 3 batteries, four or five charges of the smaller Mini 3 batteries. I do love the little countdown display that shows roughly how much more time you've got uh, powering whatever it is that you're running, useful. But of course, all of this power and capacity comes at a price. Firstly, it does exceed the 100 watt hour capacity for carry-on luggage for many uh, airlines. Although many airlines like British Airways and American Airlines, they will allow one or two batteries of up to 160 watt hours without prior approval. Other airlines, you might need to complete a short form. So it's not really a major issue, but it also comes at a monetary price too. This little beast is gonna cost you back a cool 500 pounds in the UK. Interestingly, only $400 in the US. So maybe one to pick up when you're flying back from the US. OmniCharge, to me, it's easily the most useful power bank that I own. Um, of course, I will put a link down below for more details. But sometimes you just need a little bit more. And that's where these two beasts come in from. A few of you saw this little chap in a video a couple month or so ago and asked for details on it. It is such a great little bit of kit. Um, small enough to take anywhere on camp, but with a whopping 250 watt hours of energy storage. It is the ridiculously cute Anker 521. Comes with a 12 volt car outlet, fast charging USB-A, USB-C up to 60 watts, which is good, but less than the Omni's ultimate uh, 100 watt USB-C. Still small enough to be brilliant on the campsite though, you can pretty much carry it around anywhere. And again, it's got a small mains power outlet which can deliver up to uh, 200 watts of power, which is good, but not enough for your toaster or a kettle. <laughs> that is where this big beast comes in. Uh, this is the Anker 757 powerhouse, and it is truly uh, the beast to beat all beats, basically. It will power pretty much anything you throw at it. Absolutely the best lithium power station that I have owned. Uh, amazing specs. Over a thousand watt hours of power capacity. That is literally good enough for 16 charges of your Mavic 3 batteries or around 20 charges of your Mavic Air 3 batteries or a whopping 40 recharges of your Mini 3 Pro batteries. Absolutely uh, crazy, crazy specs on this. A full 1,500 watts for your mains outlet. So that is more than enough to power my camping kettle and my toaster at the same time, which is absolutely bonkers. But to me, when you're off grid, peanut butter on toast is important. It's simple as, um, but look, it's about charging drones, isn't it? Not eating toast. Both USB-C ports on this are a meaty 100 watts. So you can fast charge two Air 3 or Mavic 3 batteries at the same time, as well as USB-A for your phones. And of course, it'll also sort your laptop out easily as well. Uh, they've both got a nice little uh, warm glow light as well. Um, don't know how it's gonna affect that. It's got three uh, levels as well. So uh, very, very useful around the campsite. Both of them can be recharged with folding solar panels that work even on slightly cloudy days. You can hook up a couple of 100 watt panels on the 757 to keep it topped up. And again, the big display shows how fast they're charging from the solar. No doubt though, this is a big, heavy beast, 20 kilograms. Um, but it is seriously the power you need if you're camping out in a tent. I do keep this in the van, despite the van's own lithium battery. It just basically gives me power for pretty much everything I want. Again though, as ever, uh, something this size and good, you're gonna pay for it. Little unit though, astounding value. I think Amazon have got it on special at the moment for around 209 pounds, uh, which is the cheapest I've seen it anywhere, or 440 pounds with the 100 watt solar panel, which I think is a brilliant package, 440 pounds for the solar panel and the little unit itself. 757 though, top spec, top price, uh, 1,100 pounds in the UK, although they do have a bit of a discount going at the moment. And the solar panels, they're around 280 pounds each as well. But in truth, look, every man and his dog is producing these power stations at the moment. I have had a cheaper version fail on me after a few months because I let it drain and discharge all the way down. The bottom line for me is that Anker are pretty much one of the industry leaders. They're up there with Jackery, and these units are absolutely built to last. Uh, 757 coming in with an impressive five year warranty and its new charging system gets it almost fully charged in around an hour, which again is absolutely bonkers. But look, 
don't want to sound like an advert here, I just wanted to show you some of the various stuff that I use to keep my drones powered up when I'm out and about in the field. Uh, as I said, I really do want to make a point of keeping my batteries on my drones charged up so my flights are relaxed and planned properly. I hate taking off with a half charged battery. It makes you rush, it makes you way more likely to make mistakes and ultimately increases the risk of a crash. So that is why I have such an obsession, if you like, about power and keeping the batteries charged up. I'll put links below to all of this stuff if you want. But for now, I hope it's been a bit of help in working out what is important when getting a new power bank for your drone. The key thing to look for is the capacity of the power bank in watt hours, and of course, the power for the USB-C port that the uh, charger has got. This is what is going to determine how it copes with charging up your batteries. And ultimately that is what it's all about, isn't it? Anyway, look, I'm just back from a week in Cornwall uh, this weekend, off to the South Downs. So a lot more flying around the coast again, be playing with the Air 3 a lot more. Drop a comment below for what models you use to keep yourself charged up on the go. But either way, look, as ever, a little thumbs up for me always helps the video along. Till next time, have fun, happy flying.